it's Alex here from WPEagle.com. In this video, I am going to be taking you through my essential plugins of 2015 or even 2014 because I was using a lot of them last year too. And these are plugins that I install on most WordPresses that I set up and uh, I just can't live without them. So let's get started and I'll take you through them. Okay, so number one is the excellent Gravity Forms. This is a premium plugin and I use this pretty much on every website that I set up using WordPress. It's forms basically in a nutshell, but it's forms with a lot of features and a lot of flexibility. The forms are just so easy to set up. Um, and you may have used C Forms, which is the free plugin. It's way easier to use than that and it's far more powerful. You can have things like multi-page forms. It's got loads of anti-spam on it. It keeps all the entries in the back end so that you can access them if you lose the emails. Uh, you can have as many forms as you want. Uh, it's really easy to style. And the list goes on in terms of why I recommend uh, Gravity Forms. I've got a few videos on Gravity Forms on the channel if you want to find out how to get more out of it. But yeah, number one plugin uh, recommendation is Gravity Forms for all your contact forms and things like that. My second most recommended plugin is Yoast SEO, uh, which you may have heard of, which is an excellent SEO plugin. It allows you to set up all your meta details, your title tags, do your XML sitemaps, pretty much covers everything you need to do on your website to get it as SEO'd up as possible. This is a free plugin. And again, I've got some great videos on this plugin uh, dotted about the channel in terms of you know optimizing posts and pages using it, installing it, setting up sitemaps, all stuff that's uh, really essential to get your site ranking well on Google. The third plugin I always use is a plugin called Google Analyticator, if you're an American, or Analyticator. I don't know, it's a funny word. But it's a free plugin and it allows you to set up uh, your Google Analytics onto your website very easily. You basically install the plugin, link it to your Google Analytics, and all your tracking and everything's taken care of. The other thing I love about this plugin is that it puts a dashboard widget um, so that when you log into your WordPress site, you can see how many visits you've got and you know popular pages and all those things straight from your WordPress dashboard without having to log into Google Analytics. So again, if you've got Google Analytics, I would strongly recommend Google Analyticator. Analyticator. The fourth plugin I really love is called WooCommerce, which is a free plugin and turns your WordPress website into an e-commerce platform, allowing you to sell things, take credit cards, PayPal, all those kind of things. It's a fully functional, uh, shopping cart system allows you to add lots of products, categories, use coupon codes, and it's got a whole load of extra extensions that are available that add um, extra functionality. For example, booking for events, um, postage slips, packing slips, lots and lots of payment gateways, pretty much anything you can think of. Um, and anything you want to sell, you probably will be able to using WooCommerce. So go check it out if you haven't already. Fifth plugin that I always use is Akismet. Akismet. Akismet, I guess that's how you say it. It's an anti-spam plugin and it's free and you need to go and sign up for an account but, and get an API key. And once you've done that, it will automatically filter out all those horrible comments that you get that are all spammy. Um, you'll notice that when you install WordPress, you start to get these comments quite quickly. People trying to sell Viagra and all sorts of interesting things by posting weird comments onto your blog. Uh, Akismet filters through them all and say automatically using server information. And it's pretty good in terms of its accuracy. It, filters pretty much 99% of all the spammy, horrible comments you're gonna get, so why wouldn't you use it? Sixth plugin I'm gonna recommend is uh, called Social Sharing Buttons. I think it's called something like that. Easy Social Share. I can't quite remember, but I'll put it on the screen now so that you can see what it is. Uh, it's a premium plugin that I've used a lot, and it basically has um, some social sharing buttons that you can add to posts and pages. It's got loads and loads of features, loads of different um, button designs and settings and counters, and it's just really, really comprehensive and covers pretty much everything you need when it comes to adding social sharing buttons to your website. It is a premium plugin available on Code Canyon, um, but it's worth the money and I would highly recommend it. So uh, yeah, go check it out and you'll never need another social sharing plugin again. So that concludes this uh, video on my favorite plugins of 2015. Well, for now, we're only in March, so uh, there may be another video on my favorite plugins when new ones come out or I discover something that's even better than what I've already said. If you like this video, could you uh, click the button below? Uh, that'd be really useful. And if you want more videos uh, of the same kind of ilk, all about WordPress and internet and all that kind of fun stuff, why not subscribe? And until next time, I'll see you soon.